Oh, beautiful oh, celebrations cute, all around. <laughs> and we are certainly enjoying them. Thank you for making our morning with that. And we continue these celebrations yep. as we reflect on the fact that in September, uh, gospel singing sensation and our very good friend, Jared Ricketts, uh, he did the amazing. He married his best friend and longtime partner, industrial psychologist Kim Lee Wenzel, in a very private ceremony. Now, the lovely couple tied the knot at St. Mark's Anglican Church in Cape Town on the 19th of September, and uh, they gave us a glimpse into their very special day on social media last week. Now, the newlyweds join us this morning to talk about their very special day and mm. how they've managed to keep their personal life so private in the limelight, and uh, we, get, we get a very, very special view <laughs> into that beautiful world it. that you guys have created. Thank you what for joining us this morning. Thank you so much. Uh, congratulations, guys. This Thank is absolutely you. fantastic. So, Mrs. Ricketts. Yes. Has, still has that weird. sunk in yet? <laughs> it, still it? Weird. it must sound weird still, but how does it feel? It feels amazing. Look, we've been together for about eight years now. Mm. So it's, wow. yeah, we've just literally decided, you know what, let's formalize it as our parents would, have say, would yeah. say. Yeah. Um, but it feels amazing. It's still, it's still surreal. Yeah. I think I'm still getting used to the, like you said, the Mrs. Yes. And then it's the Mrs. Ricketts. Yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> joke all the time. We're like, wow, we're the two Mrs. Ricketts now. So it's, yeah, it's been, but it's been an awesome Oh, man. Three weeks. It's been three weeks That's now. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's it's incredible. Beautiful. Now, I don't know which of the two of you has the best memory mm -hmm. of the first date. Yeah. Let's test Jared. Let's test Okay, we're going to test you, Jared. You go on it. I'm so As he looks like, up to the heavens and he goes, oh, my God. <laughs> There's no pressure. There is no pressure. Eh? <laughs> Bring it in. Yeah. Take us to the, right. to the first date. Where mm. was it? What was it like? The, what I can record was your, one of your favorite restaurants. It was at the waterfront. I just can't remember the restaurant's name. Valvatello. Valvatello. Yes, yeah. yes, so yes, yes. I, in conversation, I heard it was a favorite uh, restaurant, and so I took it there and uh, got to know each other a bit better. In fact, Kim and I know each other for uh, since the age of about eight. Oh, no. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You guys weren't in the same school, were you? No, no, no. no, no. no. She's, in fact, she's uh, best friends with my cousin. Yes. Oh, That's wow. That's how we met one another, yeah. Like wow. way back then. There's like one of those childhood love stories. Like <laughs> that just extends. we talk about high school sweethearts as like, oh my goodness. And then you've this got is like even real more than childhood. Childhood. <laughs> that sweetheart. That's amazing. Uh, let's talk about when uh, Jared popped the question and you said yes. Was it yes the first time around? Was it the first time you actually asked? What was it like? How did you ask <laughs> okay. how the question? Time. How did you <laughs> test through that experience? Because that is yeah. so fascinating for me always. So we've been speaking about it for a while. I think yeah. since last year, mm. um, and we were saying, you know, this when is the right time? Um, and we were actually, we went to view a place. So Jared calls me and he's like, you know what? I'm at this place, but I think it's the one you need to come and check it. Mm. So not knowing, we've put in, we've, you actually put in an offer and everything already. Mm. So I go to the place and um, I'm looking around, I'm standing on the deck and there is standing and he's like, so with our new place, will you marry me? Oh, oh. So, <laughs> double whammy. Wow. And just lay it on. Wow. Just, just, <laughs> yeah. it's the opportunity. And so the response was, was it yes? It was an overwhelming yes. I mean, oh, because I hadn't beautiful. seen the place and I was like, yeah, you just told me we got a new place. I'm like, cool. I trust you, you know what I like. And yeah, it was an overwhelming oh, yes. Wow. The, the question I think that, that a lot of people have is, mm. Jared, with you being in the, lim in the limelight, mm. Um, mm. Uh, so often as you are, how have the two of you managed to keep this beautiful world mm. that you've created for each other mm. Mm -hmm. Um, private, which is amazing? Mm. Mm -hmm. I think for the most part, uh, we just, we were very conscious of the fact that Kim is my manager first and foremost. Mm. Mm. And I always want people to respect her in that capacity. Yes. Mm. And uh, we just, we just kept it professional. Yeah. Um, yeah. So many colleagues of ours in the industry, when they found out that we got mar yeah. married, they were like, we didn't know first. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. And secondly, yeah. you guys just were so professional about things. Mm. Yeah. There was no mm. inkling of... No, my love, or ah, oh. oh, mm. babes, kiss me before I go on stage. <laughs> yeah. that kind so there of was thing. none of that. None of that. No, so that's amazing. And like you said, he's always in the limelight. So yeah. he said the one thing that we can keep for the two of us and to yes. keep it, you know, just together and to keep it special yeah. was the I memory know. of us being that couple yeah. outside of it. So yeah. working oh, together, wow. but also a time for work and a time for play kind yes. of thing. So just and balancing the two. Yeah. It really is such a beautiful thing because the thing is, and just like many other people, I too was very, very shocked. I think Kat and I, we all bespoke the next day saying, hey, <laughs> this is fantastic because I bumped into you many times at events outside of this space with Kim and met you guys both together as manager and artist. Yes. So what's your thinking around uh, mixing business uh, with pleasure now that you are married, you are Mrs. Uh, uh, Ricketts, are you going to continue working together as, as his manager? So yes. Um, as an industrial psychologist, what I do is look at personal development and mm. people development. Mm. 
and I also do mentorships, etc. And Jared mm -hmm. approached me in that capacity. So I've been managing him and the band, as, his band as well, for about four years now. Mm. Um, and it was just looking at him as a brand. Mm. So a lot of what I do is brand management, mm. looking at who you are and taking you from where you currently are to where you'd like to go. Mm. Yeah. And I think for Jared, just where he is in his career, because we, like you said, we work so closely together on not just our partnership, but as he pushes me, I push him. Yeah. He encourages me, I encourage him, and we support one another in it. So I think from a working perspective, yes, we will continue mm -hmm. um, to achieve what both of us would like to achieve. So I'm actually also studying. Yeah. I'm doing my PhD currently Ooh, in parenting. Oh, I'm in Queen, come on. So thank you. So um, <laughs> from a mentorship perspective, I think being able to work with Jared makes me see my world differently. So from a corporate and industrial psychology perspective and an artist management perspective, I get to use all different kinds of skills and also encounter and work with really different people. So definitely. I've, I've got to ask the two of you this, each of you, what do you love most about the other person? Wow. <laughs> so many things. Yeah. Mm. You know, <laughs> as she said, she pushes me mm. and um, she just accepts me for who I am, you yeah. know, with yeah. my flaws, with my craziness sometimes. Yeah. I mean, she allows sometimes. me to be. And yeah. I think it's the most wow. important thing yes. in a relationship is yeah. don't approach it with the idea that you're going to change somebody. Mm. Mm. You know, mm. she, she just said, oh, Jared is crazy. He's like that. Just, and she just encourages it. She's like, yeah, yeah do that thing, wear <laughs> that, sing it. that song, jump it. around, <laughs> whatever. So. It's so funny because yesterday Jared was on a show and I was actually, my dad was watching me and he's like, you're smiling, but he's sitting here and he's on a show. And I said, you know, the fact that he supports whatever I want to do. So any crazy idea I have as well. Um, and that he's accepted me for me. I'm in pink here and all. I had a full pink, like I decided to go full pink. And he was like, that's so cool. I'm yeah. like, okay. You like all my quirky trends as well. And I think the fact that he motivates me to be the best that I can be mm -hmm. is what I love most about him, other than all his craziness. I mean, <laughs> it takes a lot to love all of this. I but... think they all work. <laughs> the <laughs> abounding <laughs> theme is Jared is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we know for sure now. Uh, this is fantastic, but please, 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 before we go, Jared uh, and, and Kim, the, you, wedding songs, very, very important thing. That's a conversation that's going on on our social media right now. What wedding song did you guys absolutely have to have on your playlist? What was your, uh, what is it, your first dance song? Yes, so it's the one that goes, dun, 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 diddling. Do you know the song? Dun, 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 dun. I'm waiting for the. I'm waiting for the. My first. Hey. My last. Hey. My everything. Hey. 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 Hey.